Gibson adds a new bird to the flock. Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglodytes Guitar Show. There's a lot of animal-influenced guitars that I love. Now, we're not talking about Les Pauls today, we're talking about acoustics, so that means iconic models like the Dove, the Hummingbird, including the Doves in Flight, there's the Bats in Flight, you've got the vintage 70s Gospels that have a Dove on their headstock, there's even the Sparrow, there's a Firebird Acoustic, which is different from, like, the electric Firebirds, and I'm sure there's other bird acoustics within Gibson's history that I've either forgotten or just don't know about, so maybe fill me in in the comments. But no, for 2023, Miranda Lambert gets a signature Bluebird. So let's go ahead and get this Bluebird open and see what it is all about. Oh wow, this one's got a little bit of nice figuring within our spruce top. Obviously, by the name Bluebird, it's going to be blue. And the reasoning behind why this is blue is because it's based on the Texas state flower, the blue bonnet. That's what the finish is officially called, because that's where Miranda Lambert is from. And if you're not familiar with her work, she's a modern country music star, businesswoman extraordinaire. Country's not what I'd typically listen to, but hey, that's okay. That's what signature guitars are all about. You learn about other artists and get to check out what's cool about them. And as I told you earlier, I just love animal-influenced instruments, so I wanted to get a nice in-depth documentation of this bluebird. Because they changed up our pick guard here, we got these cute little bluebirds on it. And then another one up here. Basically, spec-wise, this is just a Gibson Hummingbird that has a slightly different pick guard and a blue finish. Brand new, a regular Hummingbird is $4,000, whereas our bluebird is $4,649. The only thing that I saw that was different on here as far as the specs go is she opted for a tusk saddle rather than a bone one. Everything else is nearly identical, but we'll talk more in-depth details on the workbench. But for the cool limited edition finish, the custom name, and the artist affiliation, I feel that's a fair premium to ask. This is a limited edition, but it's not like we're only making 200 of these. It just seems they're going to make as many as can sell over the course of a couple of years, maybe. Or at least that's how it seems at launch. Things can change. You also get a hard shell case for that price. I would hope so. But this is not the exact same as what Gibson USA gets. Like their newer Les Pauls. This is not flat. It has that regular Tolex feel back to it, which I'm honestly a big fan of. I'm still getting used to the new Gibson style logo, but it's got the nice square latches. It does have a key lock if you like that feature. Looks like a, just a pretty basic handle as they've always had. I feel like we should have had a blue case on this run. I mean, it's the blue bird. Maybe that would have been possible had this been a more limited, limited edition, but it seems to be a sturdy case. But as far as what comes with the guitar, we get a Gibson Acoustic Custom Shop tag. I haven't seen this before, which doubles as our pre-pack checklist. And this is interesting. We get a half COA, kind of like some of the mod collection or demo shop guitars get. Maybe that's how they do it down in Montana. Next up we get a polishing cloth, but inside here we get a little pick holder keychain, a strap button if you wish to install it. Ah, that's that's a tough choice. <laughs> Do you put the strap button on it or not? And hey, this is nice. It looks like you get three humidipacks from Diodario, which is a two-way humidification system. And this right here is the reason why I don't collect acoustic guitars. Until I have a room that looks exactly like Guitar Center over here, <laughs> I don't want a whole collection of them. I'm happy with my Taylor 210E, but that's not going to stop me from documenting this cool one. Let's go ahead and throw it on the workbench to take an individual look at its parts and specs. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the Bluebird. So this is a Sitka spruce top. Every top is going to look a little bit differently, but I really like this one because it almost has like a flamey quilty pattern to it rather than just your usual pinstripey looking spruce top. So that's kind of a nice touch. But since this maple is such a lighter color, you can actually see this blue a lot better than our mahogany back and sides. It's more of like an extra dark blue. But that's not because the back and sides were finished in a different color. It's just because of the light color of the maple versus the darker color of our mahogany. this is an electric acoustic, you've got your controls right here with a volume slider as well as a tone. And then when you need to change your battery, they have it glued onto the heel of the neck. And that is an under saddle piezo bridge. So that's what this element is right here. Made by LR Bags and it's the VTC model. Let's take a look at the bridge on the top. It's nothing too fancy. You don't have any bluebird inlays on here. It's just like a hummingbird in that aspect. You just have two small mother of pearl dots. And this is a tusk saddle. That's her own spec. And the bridge pins are also made of tusk. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, no, it's not like a real mammoth tusk. It's man-made material. 
Let's see if we can find some more in here. So here's the bottom of the saddle. You can see where that wire is running through. Then that gets clipped down and then moves its way for some more cable management on the back of the guitar before eventually getting clipped also to the edge before eventually getting back to our master control there and our batteries wires as we were seeing earlier. But here we can see our scalloped bracing system. The scalloped part is where it gets shaven away by hand towards the edges before it gets to your curved sides. It's like that on both edges. So we got one, two, three, and it looks like four of those on the bottom. But then our top bracing is what we're seeing right here. That's also scalloped and appears to be in an X shape. But here we can see the backside of our maple top versus our mahogany sides and our back. But here's our sticker. It's the only place that says Miranda Lambert on this entire guitar. But here we can see our rosette with the inlays of binding material. Looks like we got seven ply, then three ply. Then as far as our binding along our edge. It looks like six ply, but it might be five. It's kind of hard to tell if that last black layer is supposed to be there or if that's just finish running over top of the binding. But that runs all along the top. Now let's take a closer look at our little bluebirds. I like how they have the red bellies yet too. And in looking for the spec sheet of this model, I actually ran across, okay, so she has a song also called Bluebird. So I guess it makes sense that she got the bluebird outside of just Texas and wanting a blue guitar. Now let's go to our mahogany neck with rosewood fretboard. This is a 20 fret instrument. It looks like it joins to the body at the 14th fret and you get your split parallelogram inlays that are made of real mother or pearl. Now do note that the acoustics do not get fret nibs in this day and age. As far as QC goes, the bone nut was pretty well crafted except for right in the center. It looks like they swooped it and flattened it. It's kind of hard to see. It doesn't affect playability, but it's there. Similarly, we have the typical binding tooling marks where they were rounding over our fret edges where they kind of got the fretboard just a little bit. But I just conditioned this board so it's a little bit more apparent than what it would normally be. And it features a 24 3 quarter inch scale length. In case you don't know, the biggest difference between Gibson's two big birds, the dove and the hummingbird, is the dove has a 25 and a half inch scale length. And one other major difference that we'll talk about on the back. So that's why I say this is just kind of like a hummingbird, just a different bird on the pick guard and a new finish. I measure 1.77 inches, which increases to 2.12 by the 12th, with a first fret neck depth of 0.88, which increases to 0.92 by the 10th. Here that is on the contour gauge, first fret and 10th fret. Starts very rounded, but almost flattens just a little bit. Gibson just calls it a rounded neck profile. Now moving on to our headstock, we can see our truss rod beautifully. Mahogany on the neck is actually pretty light in color. But interestingly enough, no Miranda Lambert on the truss rod cover. No bluebird or anything like that, it's just blank. Then you get your Mother of Pearl Gibson logo and crown with Cluson tuners, vintage style, done up in gold. And here's that other difference I was talking about between doves and hummingbirds is the hummingbird style has the mahogany back and sides and neck, whereas the doves have slightly more fancier appointments. So this definitely shares everything with a hummingbird. And the style of mahogany they use sometimes has very nice figuring within it. This is a, a pretty good example. I was hoping I would get lucky on this. Now my camera is kind of overexposing right now. In person, it's really dark blue. You hardly even see it, but it is there if you're looking for it. But the back has a three ply binding. And this is your output jack, but it also doubles as a strap button. They give you that other one in the case if you want to sync it here, if you want to sync it there, or there, or anywhere else you really want to put it. A lot of times acoustic players just like to wrap a strap over the top. It doesn't look like they messed with our specs or anything over here. And it's crafted with a dovetail neck joint. If you subtract the finish, it's probably about four and three quarters inches thick. Then we can look at the back of the neck. You can see the mahogany wood grain. Again, it's pretty dark due to the darkness of the wood. But as we saw under the truss rod, it's not the darkest mahogany we've ever seen. But then we do have a traditional serial number stamped in the back of our headstock, as well as the sound hole sticker. So you can double verify. Made in USA. And here's the back side of our gold tuners. All said and done, looks like it is four pounds, 7.2 ounces. Let's go ahead and hear how this bluebird sounds. Now please keep in mind, I do not have an acoustic guitar amp, so I'll just be running it through Logic Pro. And I'm not gonna say I'm a professional at miking acoustic guitars. We're just gonna get a very basic tone sample. I'm sure there's other videos that have it captured more professionally. We're just having fun today, documenting our bluebird.
Now that we know all about the bluebird, what are my final thoughts on this? If you like a hummingbird and you've enjoyed them in the past, you're going to like this. It's basically just a new pick guard with the new finishes we've been talking about. But that's kind of cool though, because this model transcends just the artist. Somebody who's not familiar with her works, you don't necessarily have to. It's just a cool blue Gibson acoustic guitar that's part of the bird family. So in that aspect, I think it's awesome. I think it's got a good acoustic tone to it, more so on the mellow side as most Gibsons are. But what I like about the electronics here is your tone wheel actually has a couple of notches so it's all the way on but then there's a notch that tells you when you're right in the middle and then when you're all the way off so when you're doing some flat picking you're probably gonna want to roll that down a little bit but all right troglodytes i hope you enjoyed taking a look at this guitar with me today if you're interested in being the next owner of my demo model you can check it out on my website troglazeguitarshow.com and if not we will see you tomorrow on the next episode take care If you enjoyed tonight's episode, consider subscribing. I post videos like this every day. And you might even enjoy this next one.